the gentlelady from Texas. I yield to the gentleman from Texas, the chairman of Military Construction and Veterans Affairs Subcommittee, Mr. Carter, for five minutes. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. I'm honored to present. Whoa. I'm honored to present the FY24 Military Construction, Veterans Affairs and Related Agency Appropriations Bill to the House today. This bill is special because it, appoint, it supports our troops and their families and the nation's veterans. The bill provides $17.5 billion for military construction and family housing projects. This is less than FY23 enactment account. However, it's nearly $8,800 million above the president's request. We focus this investment in the Pacific to deter China's aggressive and coercive actions. We also provide significant funding for new, bar new barracks and child development centers. This bill fully funds veterans programs at levels requested by the president. It keeps our promises to veterans and we do more to help veterans in the Pacific. We also ensure taxpayers' funds will not be used appropriately and effectively by increasing oversight of the federal programs. I'd like to thank my subcommittee ranking member, although she disagrees with this bill. She's been a, a joy to work with, and our partnership has been good. And I want to thank all the people who have worked on this bill and all of their families and the families of the veterans. I urge the support for H.R. 4366, and I reserve my time. 